But before I get to the basketball piece, I, I just want to compliment my team. They had a 3.4 team GPA this semester. 12 out of 14 had a 3.0 or better. Four, play, four student athletes had a 4 point. I'm really proud of this team for their commitment, both in the classroom as well as on the court. I think you saw tonight their commitment on, on the court. But I thought we were very resilient because I think Oregon's really good. I thought they kept coming at us, and I was proud of our toughness and our resilience tonight. Uh, I think Kelly's got him a heck of a team. They're going to win a ton of games, and they're going to they're going to have a heck of a season. We've got so many good weapons over there, so many good players, and uh, it's hard to guard that group. But I thought our kids did a great job offensively of executing and attacking. Um, obviously, we shot the ball extremely well. I think T had a double-double at halftime. And uh, I had told her before the game, in, in the pregame, I said, T, you'll be able to get as many as you want tonight. And I really felt like if, if she wanted to go get 40, she could get 40. And uh, she didn't want 40, obviously. She only got 35. But uh, to get 35 and 19, that's a pretty full night's work. Five blocks in 35 minutes. Uh, and then Victoria, um, I don't know what she had at that. Uh, she had four and a half, and I thought in the second half you could just. We started out running some stuff for her and kind of got her in the flow. I told her if there wasn't anybody in the gym that could guard her, and there wasn't. And uh, we, I thought we put her in some really good spots, and I thought she just took advantage and, and made play after play after play offensively. Um, hit big, not only big shots, big threes, but got to the line, got to the rim. Um, I just thought she was really, really special. I thought one of the keys to the game, y'all, was Jazz coming in at the end of the first half. Her energy and was, you know, just really changed. I thought the whole complexion of the first half, and I think we went from up two or four to up twelve, and uh, that kind of got us away from them a little bit leading into uh, to halftime. So I, I thought she did a, a, a really good job coming off the bench there at the at the end of the first half. Obviously, we took care of the ball and we had eight turnovers. We only forced 15, but, man, that team, y'all, they are so hard to guard. They do so much ball screen action. I thought our ball screen defense was the key tonight and, uh, and then our ability to score the basketball. So really proud of our, our, our team. I just thought we were so competitive, so tough. We didn't flinch. We got punched tonight a couple times, and I didn't think we flinched. And... Uh, that's what it's going to take when we get into the SEC play. What did you say? Uh, you, you mentioned you told her if she can get as many as she wanted. It uh, looked like you were trying to fade her the ball early. Obviously, she was getting some offensive rebounds too. But what did you see from Morgan that you, that you thought that would be a favorable matchup? For T or Morgan? For T. For T. Well, I told her coming in when we started shoot around today, I told her I'd just finished watching another team and their inside player dominate them. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about it in, uh, going in to shoot around. And then, again, I told them pregame. I just felt like uh, the way they were going to try to defend her, um, I just thought she could walk around and score and, and not have any, you know, and could. And, and what T showed you tonight is some of the development that Coach Harris has is, is, is done with her. I mean, just hours of, of spent time in the gym. Um, and for post players, it, it, it just becomes, it has to be repetition, it has to be a feel. <coughs> But I thought tonight T got a lot of stuff off second chance, you know, offensive boards, uh, finishing in contact. Um, how many free throws did you did you shoot T? Five of Give me some. <laughs> and so, you know, that's another area that she's worked hard in lately is the free throw piece. And so, um, you know, just I thought she got some second chance points for us. She had 12 offensive boards. So she's going to, you know, I'll go back now and I'm going to critique her on, okay, how many did you cash? You know, those 12 offensive boards, how many did you cash on that? But um, just thought she had, you could look at her tonight and you saw an air of confidence, but she gets that confidence because she's been worked with, she's developed, and uh, I thought her teammates looked forward tonight as well. Victoria, what was different for the in the second half for you? Everything. Um, you know, I tried to get going defensively before I went offensive because that was my main struggle. I couldn't guard 24 the whole game. So I was just trying to do my best on her. And then, like, I tried not to let it frustrate me as bad in the second half. So I just went out and played basketball. T, 
to your how, how good do you think that you can be? I think I can be great. <laughs> what is it going to take for you to, to realize that? Hard work, dedication, and buying in. How much, how much different are you this year compared to last year in that room? I'm way different because I don't allow myself to get in the way of what I'm trying to do and the goal of my team. Good eye contact and answer your questions. Too. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Morgan, uh, how, how big was this win for you guys in front of your fans tonight? This was huge over a top 10 ranked team. How big was it for you guys? Yeah, it was a big win. I mean, it helped us later on in the final role, like Coach always does. But, I mean, this was a test for us, and we answered it. I'm proud of my teammates. We went out there guarded, and we had some good players over there make, make some buckets and get some rebounds. <laughs> Coach, um, Coach Graves said uh, Tierra was, I, I forget if he said interested exactly, but something to the long, to, along those lines that she was engaged and interested. You've made the comment that she can be great if she's engaged and interested. How, how much are you seeing her level of interest and engagement increase? Uh, I've seen it increase, but I think there's still a, a level that we can get to with her. Again, I, I think the sky's the limit. I mean, I'll dig it up. Find me somebody that got 35 and 19 against a top 10 team this year, or last year, or the year before. That's what I'll tell her. Her interest, you know, when, when she's like tonight and engaged and, and focused, man, she's a monster. You just can't deal with her. But I need that daily, weekly, monthly, and, and every night. And don't get bored with it. That she was pretty bland in Manila tonight. She made one turnaround, you know, basically one turnaround. Everything else was, man, it was toughness. It was meat and potatoes. It was, I'm better than you, and I'm going to out-hustle you, I'm going to outwork you. And had her, she had her lunch pail with her, had that hard hat on tonight. That's what you got to bring to the table every night. It's what our teams are known for. And for her, I don't only thought she was engaged on offense. I thought defensively she was engaged. She enjoyed blocking those shots, you know, and and uh, and so I, I'm not so fired up about it because that means somebody's getting beat off the bounce, and it got her in a little bit of foul trouble there late in the second half. But I love her to be a good helper. She got one silly foul early, but that shows her maturity. She played the whole half with no more fouls. The old Tierra probably would have got another one in the first half. I'd have had to sit her, but she played without it. So. Again, it's a it's a work in progress for my whole team. Trust me, but boy, they really answered the bell tonight against a, a really good team. Really good team. Really proud of our fans. 54-45. Just uh, appreciate all them being here tonight. When school's out, uh, thought they were really engaged. Also, made a great atmosphere for both teams and for TV. Coach, you said after the Little Rock game that you would find out how good your team was in this game. I yes. guess. What did you find out? Tonight we were pretty good. Yeah, we were we were pretty good, especially offensively. I just uh, I'm proud of uh, you know our our uh, I just think we're hard to deal with offensively. I think people are having a hard time guarding us right now. I thought they tried you know zone and man and uh, anytime you score 90 points in a college basketball game, you're doing some things right. I, these kids are are making shots. They. They're confident. Uh, our guard play is solid. We got four senior guards, and, and uh, they're setting the tone. But you look out there on the floor, and you see a presence. Those kids have a presence. And um, you know, Jazz came in tonight again. I thought she was a big key to the first half, which ultimately <coughs> altered the game. Um, you get her in. You got Jordan now to add to the mix. I just and Chloe played 20 minutes tonight and allowed us to move Tori over to the wing a little bit. But uh, I found out about my team tonight that when the lights came on, they were ready to compete, and uh, and that's a good thing. Hey Vic, do you feel better about your depth considering during that during that run in the second quarter? I think you had three reserves on the floor, and I think you also plugged in like eight or nine uh, players for obviously role positions, but they, they seem to play pretty well. I, I feel good about my depth. I do. I, I just, uh, I, I, we've got to just keep playing. It's so hard, y'all. Uh, you know, we've had some games, and i, I got to let these kids play. I can't just put them on the bench the whole second half and let somebody, i got to, we got to play. And we've had some games like that, and, and so trying to develop depth with, 
Chloe and, and now Jordan and uh, and Zion and and then you got you know Bree and Nye over there. So you're you're trying to develop that depth, and it's real important that you develop it. So uh, I do feel good about my depth. I thought they grew up a little bit tonight as well. Have you ever had two players score? Did you Never. remember? Not that I can ever remember. Thirty-five and thirty. <laughs> That's amazing. Thirty-five and thirty in between them, they had twenty-three rebounds. I'm gonna give them tomorrow off because of that. <laughs> Just them two little I'll probably let them take the whole team and just let them have the day off. <laughs> Victoria, I remember like in big games a, a year ago, and especially two years ago, offense sometimes was a real struggle for this team. You know, you're a great defensive team that struggled offensively. Why is the team clicking so well now, you think, offensively? Because we have great chemistry and they are confident. They know they can shoot, so when they say the opportunity to shoot, they're going to knock the shot down. Morgan, how, how much have you seen? Tierra, she's kind of looking at the third riot. Um, how much have you seen her mature and develop so she can dominate a game like that? It's been great watching her over years. I mean, from freshman year to now, I mean, it's a big step. I'm proud of her. She's grown, I mean, on the court, off the court. She gets the ball in now. Um, she was in, but now she's dominating consistently during games. I mean, she don't block out, she can she can rebound and stuff like that. So I just know when I give her the ball, she gonna get fouled and she gonna get lucky. So I have I just had that trust in her that she gonna make the play. Do you feel that you guys are I don't I don't want to say better, but are, have you come to learn where she likes the ball? Because I think a year or two ago, coach was saying you gotta feed her high, feed her high. You guys are all doing such a great job of getting her the ball. Where she could just turn and make a move. How much do you think that you guys as a team have grown in that person? Well, this person I know I've grown a lot. This practice, just hearing me mold. She's open throwing the ball and watching film. So this person is hearing it. This point guard, you know, more you got throw it, you no know, one's going to get it. She's 6'8, six, 6'7. Six, and I mean, every day in practice, we hear throw it high, throw it high. While I bounce past it, it's a hard pass. So I think the repetition and practicing every day, just hearing it, I mean, just. Yeah, listen one day, buy in, and that's what we're doing. Big, before uh, y'all came in, Kelly was talking to us about Victoria and saying how much better she looks this year compared to last year. Obviously, she was good last year, too, but since she seemed a lot more confident, what, what are you, is there something you're seeing from her that has kind of changed? Maybe not necessarily her style, but just sort of the attitude of her play? I think one thing that helps her is that we get her some easy shots early a lot of times, and and then her confidence just goes from there. I do think she's better. She's a senior. I think she's been to the wars. I think um, she's she's confident. You know, I saw her at USA Basketball this summer. I thought she, she you know, both these kids belonged. You know, when they were playing and competing for a spot, I thought they belonged. Um, I thought, you know, and, and I thought, again, talking about Tori, she just looked confident. And, and, and so, um, I think for me, when I see her again, if you're talking about a presence, you know, talk about special athletes, they all got a presence, right? And I just think she's got that presence about her. And, you know, I think she, she knows when she's feeling it. Uh, we've all seen it, whether it was in high school or when she's had her times for us. But right now, I think she's confident and, and comfortable. And again, I think a lot of that has to do with shot selection in the shots that we're getting her early in ball games, and then her confidence just grows from there. But she's she's obviously at another level right now. Uh, after ten games this year, no question about it. The field goal percentage, the quality of shots. I'll tell you the other pieces about her. She's become a whole lot better passer, you know. But when you got a high school coach that ripping and roaring on you every time you pass it, it's hard to get out of that habit. And, and so it's taken a while, but, man, she's really become a great passer, a great passer. So, Tierra, when, when Coach said that uh, you might have picked up another foul there early, early in the game, you kind of had an interesting uh, smile on your face. Uh, you kind of uh, Do you remember what you were thinking when he made that remark, and why, why do you think that you did not pick up another foul? Well, he said a year ago I would have probably picked up the second one, which is true. Like, I know myself back then a year ago, so he's telling the truth. And I just look back and think that I would have gotten probably the second one. 
in the third one if you gotta look me up. <laughs> what What do you feel about the progress that you made as a player? Because we, we, we were talking about it, the game against Washington, when you just, again, dominated. But it seems to be happening more regularly with this season. Do, do you feel a sense of pride, accomplishment, or this is just another step and I've got more progress to go? Uh, I'm just believing in myself and being more confident and just knowing that when teams double me, it leaves shooters open on the outside, so they have to pick their poison, either double me or guard them, and when they double me, I just kick it out. And so just knowing that I can help my teammates by getting buckets inside and having them double or, you know, having them going one-on-one -on -one in there giving me the ball and I'm scoring. Any other questions? All right, thanks, ladies. Thanks, guys. All right. Praise the Lord. Go, dog.